Vasquez Jr. Take tilt at all time, remember guys. I'm fair but I'm firm. Touch him up. Alfredo. A uh, major key in this fight tonight, experience. You know, uh, Vasquez with no amateur fights in the 21 pro fights and recent fights, and he has the makings of a really good boxer puncher. He's trying to start to become a smooth fighter. Wait, when you look at these two men in the ring, Antonio, he doesn't look like the smaller fighter, Arce, does he? Well, I'll tell you what, they both looked on it. As for Vasquez, Ivan Hernandez in his last fight, October of 2010. And when he, the, the fight in which people said to themselves, this young man could be a good pro. Good left hook by Arce there. Marvin Sansona, February of 2010, stopping him in the fourth round with a left hook. Arce, something to think about. Right there is where I think are devastating body shots. That was a good left hook downstairs before that you referenced by Arce. Yeah. Hey! And that hurt him. Down, down, down. Vasquez Jr. Down, down. holds hey. on. Yeah, Arce when... said once he gets inside, Vasquez backing up. Up top, Arce really laying into his punches, Freak. Freak. sitting Freak. on him. And uh, he made that the way he wanted it. The veteran Arce, a very solid beginning. Jorge Arce, former two-time world champion at light flyweight, that's 108 pounds, 15. This could turn into a real firefight because Vasquez has decided to go after Arce. Boy, are you right. <laughs> that's exactly right. And of course, Vasquez needs to stay in the Senate have won world championships. Leon Spinks and Corey Spinks, Floyd Patterson, Tracy Harris Patterson, and Judy oh. Espada. Arce telling us that he wanted to fight him close from the very beginning. Vasquez Jr. so young. Arce, you can see the one. These men, they light up the room, don't they? Very engaging, very engaging. I understand what Arce was saying. He said he called him a baby because he's never been in a real war with a real man. He's not the classic fighter, but he just gets the job done. Oh, nice shots by Vasquez, though. Half <laughs> jab by Arce. A left hook lands for Arce. Right. Wants to make this a brawl, and that's what he's doing in the second round. Both men are landing big shots. Human beings in all yeah. of Mexico. Yeah, he, he points out that he hit when he was on. Finished third, by the way. Don't tell him he's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is the fight that Arce wanted. This is what he wanted to go in here with that type of thing. Third round scheduled for 12 for the WBO Junior Featherweight World is in the white trunks and veteran Jorge Arce. Story, and there have been some classic matchups between Puerto Rican and fight Puerto Rican fighters and Mexican fighters over the go down the list. Uh, it's just a very, very great rivalry that you see is being thrown. Uh, and Arce throwing more. They're very close in landing, but the activity of Arce shows you he's known in his young career is that he's patient. He could get you out of there in the later rounds. Like that, you know, he needs to start giving Arce some angles. 121 to go. Wow. <laughs> this is some fight. Beautiful. He's been in these firefights before. They made almost 12 rounds, and nobody could believe both men were standing. And that's the way Arce fights in this one is. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's composed well beyond his age. But again, this is a tough fight. And it was all in the year 2010. He had a very busy and productive year. And I'll tell you what, he's fighting. No problem. I see that uh, Arce has a cut of some sort on the left bridge of his nose, if not by his. And I think it stunned uh, young Vasquez. Punches, but can you stop him? Manuel uh, Montiel, of course, the father of Fernando Jr., the cut man, yep. stitching up Jorge Arce. He gets a little work, doesn't he? Title Jorge Arce in this metallic silver and blue. He was uh, uh, liberated by not having to worry about weight at 122. Uh, Arce won the WBO light flyweight title in a row. Oh, 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 oh. 
And I guess as you get older, now you just lower waist where it's only a three pound difference. Uh, power punch is very much in favor of Arce and mid too high a weight for Arce, but I think he's performing very well here. And for Vasquez, it's not. I think this round he's moving really, really well, and he's counter punching oh, no, no, effectively no, 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 as well. So this is a, a terrific right uppercut. And Arce continues to move forward. His father, it's uh, the brains of the outfit, Vasquez Jr. said, and I just take, carry out his role. A lot of blood now coming out of the nose. Jorge hey, Arce. No bacon, no bacon, no bacon. Both fighters exchange and left hooks. Now, see, now. We are mind standing in there, but I think that's to his detriment tonight against a fighter like Arce. Oh. Junior laid off the stool as both men meet in the center of the ring. Beautiful. The young fighter is fighting really, really good. I mean, that was a picture perfect. And it was because Arce attacks so wildly and leaves himself open so much, but nice combinations by Arce. This is just a fun fight to watch. 39-37. What do you have, Antonio? I have uh, Arce ahead by one point. Okay. I, I gave. I thought Arce controlled the whole no, round no, until no, the no, knockout. No, no, but you make a case either way. The hook, very effective for Arce down low this evening. Yep. Digging with that left hook to the body. You got to give that young man credit. I mean, to be able to be willing to sit yeah. there and take 25 seconds to go in the fifth. Another left hook by Vasquez Jr. Arce though. Coming up, excitement. 8,000 people in there. A couple thousand people couldn't get in. And I'll tell you, I was at that scene after I've seen so far with him. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., the challenger, Jorge Arce in the blue and silver. And of course, is unofficial. Arce's left hook to the body has taken a lot out of Vasquez. Oh, yeah. Now I have a 48 47 because I didn't make that a 10 8 round. So I have a slight edge for Arce. A little bit slow with his punches, and that gives Vasquez opportunity to land that big left knee. The story of Vasquez becoming a boxer is extraordinary. And they he said, no, you're not going to box. You have never had an amateur fight. And they, they kind of said, no. Well, he said, and, and that's what's amazing yeah. to me, because I know that the amateur boxing experience is such tremendous. In four and a half years with wow. no amateur experience, it's crazy. Bloodline. Yeah. Ooh, oh. but Arce follows it up with a straight right of his own, then goes down. Close round. Uh, Vasquez using the left hand. The WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. In the seventh round. He and his father share a very interesting honor. The only father son combination to win the world. You could tell the father took great pride in that. As did uh, Junior. Yes, I'm very impressed with him for the man that he is outside of the ring. You know, he's very solid on, you know, on, on Sonny, just want to be champion, and I commend him for that. And he and Arce very active, lots of punches being. Now, I'm not sure Vasquez really wants to be there, Antonio, but you pointed out he's got a warrior mentality. Look at him. What a great inside fighting. I mean, this is what makes this type of fight hard. Is to land the right hand. Almost everybody thought that would be a, a big punch from a distance. It's really been the left hook for Vasquez. That's when you're knocking down Arce with the left hook at the end of the fourth round. There's a... And I said Arce wanted to make this fight messy, but you know, Ari Arce... <laughs> up by Vasquez Jr. This kid is tough. Man, that's some action. Wow. Man. Exciting and We start the year in the metallic silver and blue, Jorge Arce. 
Bill Price. But not against a fighter like Jorge Arce. And I think the fight. And I think that for the most part, not necessarily so tonight. But it looked like they prepared for everything. Yes. It seems like he's making the necessary. Uh -huh. Wishing for something that's <laughs> never going to happen. Let's fight this is Chris Mannix and Lance Pugmire having it for Vasquez by two and Tim Dahlberg. A, uh, you're having two points ahead of this fight. Huh? Against the ropes with Arce digging to the body in the head. Exciting fight. Uh, Arce has now thrown 521 punches in this fight. Wow. To two. Let's go. Think about Arce now. 12, the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title, and they have left their hearts out in the ring. For 12, for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title, the champion quickly across the stool. Alfredo Vasquez Jr., he has a... I'm going to go from Vasquez. I, one thing I really expected in this fight was to see him throw more right hands that were effective, but... That, under him, he's turning yeah. his hips into all those You're shots, right. and that's what Freeze. makes him such a powerful puncher. Uh, the folks, Tim Dahlberg, Associated Press, Lance Pugmire, uh, the LA Times, and the, uh, had a, a draw and Vasquez at this point. And I have that same score, but hey, either one of those rounds oh. lately could have went either way. Yeah, in the unforgiving world of boxing, even though Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. has 17 knockouts in his 20 wins, some will look at this and say, uh, in a fight in which, oh, there's a, uh, that would be a slip as well, in which Arce is coming so to say that. Knockout puncher against top competition at 122. I think he's in top notch competition now. Arce is just determined. This is too myopic a view, but some people may look at this afterwards and say that. Pounds of water weight on the brain and in the body yep. does them well. Yeah, and apparently it has for Arce. It's a very. Come on. But you're down the cruiserweight again, Antonio Tarver. So I got, you're, you're I got my me. work ahead of me, believe yeah. me. Another short left hand getting in. Vasquez on Arce. For the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. You have it, you're rushing to the emergency room. He's trying to win a 12 round fight with that cash on his nose and that's very effective for Jorge Arce. Yeah, right now it's pressure. He's applying some serious pressure. The end. We mentioned uh, Arce 9 and 3 and 12 round fight. And Arce still delivering the pressure. Wobbled a little bit. And he's not firing back like we're used to seeing him fire back, Gus. By Arce. Ivan Hernandez. Oh, Arce with the jab. Backs up Vasquez Jr. Vasquez Jr. He squared up on the ring rope. Look at his legs. He's well, Vasquez Jr. Now hold on to Arce. It's important for the young fighter to get his composure right now. Vasquez Jr. looks like he's on shaky legs and he's taken to the ground again. Win these rounds and look good doing it. Look, connects. This is making it messy and being effective, and that's what Arce's done. Jorge Arce. Vasquez's legs does not look strong to me. He's leaning on the ropes. He's going to have final round for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. It looks like it's cold, but you know. With that, I had it two rounds ahead of before that round. I have this fight oh, dead even. Arce on the ropes. Combinations. Arce. Left hand. Right hook. Why won't he hold? Arce. He needs to hold him. Joe Cortez doing a good job. Puede parar. No, no. Yo te digo. Oh, oh, oh. Se está llevando una. Ahora, ahora se está llevando todo. Se está llevando. Le ha parado la pelea. Le ha parado, ha parado la pelea. Fíjate. Eh, ah, la pelea. La pelea. No se rinde el. el... <laughs> ¿Qué, te parece, eh, ¿Qué te parece, Emilio? This is a charming and nice young man. The father loves him. He's not that. Tonight, rather than letting him yeah. go out on his shield if he had to, you never know. Jorge, el travieso Arce.
continues. Uh oh. Is Shane Mosley watching all this back in that locker room and saying this is about this is the fifth major